He made some jokes while he shoots his gun. Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack attack. Hey, wait a minute. There's no guns in this game. Shut up, Pee-wee. Hey, the name is Lack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim Pure Red Guard Challenge Run. We're playing through the game using only the six Red Guard skills. Those would be Destruction, Restoration, Smithing, Block, One-Handed, and Archery. And we have arrived at Dushnuk Yal. We're here for the purpose of... How much money do I have? Yep, yeah, that's perfect. Um, first of all, let's use up all their skill training purchase rates by you buying some One-Handed. Chief of Dushnuk Yal. Okay. I'd like to buy training in one handed, please. You'll never compare to me, but I can try to teach you anyway. <laughs> okay. There we go. So, used up all our skill training purchase rates. And now, for why we're really here, is right. to get some Orichalcum ore so we can make some Orcish arrows. Um, do I have anything to sell off? No, I don't. No, we gotta make friends with the mines so that we can take their um, Orichalcum ore that is just lying around loose. Here. Do I have a torch? Yes, I do. This aura here. There's five here, and there's a sixth one here. If we simply sell one or or a calcum ore to Garol, we'll become friends with the mine. At which point, we'll be able to take that. Um, so let's just do a little quick shock binding here. And what did I want to do? I'll keep the torch. There we go. So now we have three Oracle more. Let's go sell one to Garal and we'll become friends with the mine. For a net profit of five Oracle more. Okay, so we don't want to sell them all, so we have to drop two. Drop two. Here's Garol. Are you looking to work? The I have or you bring me or I'll give you coin. I've always pronounced that or calcum. Or chalcum or calcum. I'll buy everything you've dug up. Okay, so she buys one and that'll make us Fight friends with the mine. Let's go pick up the ones we drop. Yoink, yoink. And back to the mine. We may need a pickaxe. Did I pick that up? Yes, I did. Alright, let's go get the freebies first of all. See, these are no longer marked as steel. And the sixth one down here. Yoink. I will just take that push down. Oh, we got some grilled leaks here, eh? All spent years in the caves. All right, so we already did that one. There's three more here. Every orc learns the one on the ground will probably require a pickaxe. Years in the caves. So, mining the old-fashioned way here, boss. All right, so the seven ore veins that we in here, we've done two. That's three. That's four. Step back there. I don't want to hit you. Here's another one on the ground that may... Maybe we can do it like this. There we go. That's five. Watch what you're doing. That's six. And that's seven. For a total of 26, that is exactly correct. Seven ore veins plus six loose plus we sold one to Garol. 26 ore. Mission accomplished. Let's get out of here. I serve my chief and my brothers by working in the mines. That's nice. The that's nice. You keep on doing that. Alright. Warrior stone. 
And then we're going to make a whole bunch of workish arrows. Home, James. I have perk points to spend. Before I forget, looking for alteration, alteration. Magic resistance too, thank you very much. And swinging on over to archery. Let's get over to Rod 3. Very good. Get the ball rested, boys. Alright, check it out here. Warrior Stone, well rested. Looking good, looking good. Let's go craft a whole bunch of arrows. First of all, you could go in. This is what Lender is in. Get it's not. It's not something we can use. Very good. And here's all my firewood. Tons of firewood. So. Um, if we smelt up all this ore, this will be yield 13 ore calcium ingots. Very good, so that will require 13 firewood. Alright, cranking them out here boss. Orcish arrows. That should be 384. Uh, came up short. It's all good. It's all good. That's enough. However, we're just going to save this for um, really intense fights, like dragon fights and try to use up the iron arrows. So if you see me using iron arrows, that's why. I'm saving these like the good arrows for like, you know, really tough fights. So that's that. Um, oh, leaks came up. Great. Very good. This my carry with like a respectable 70. Next stop, the Lord Stone. Oh, there's some apples here. Interesting. Okay, I'll get those later. Yeah, next stop, the Lord's Dome. We need that extra 25% magic resistance. Now, uh, I want to continue to power level alterations, so let's hook up the Mage Stone first, and then we'll head up to the Lord's Stone. the Vigilant right here. Closest location we have to the Lord Stone. Lord Stone would give us plus 50 armor and plus 25% magic resistance. And I wonder what's going to be there. Ever since the anniversary edition, um, sometimes when you go to the Lord Stone, there's like 
ridiculously powerful enemies there, like way above your pay grade. Which wasn't like that before. Typically they'd be leveled. But since the anniversary edition, um, sometimes you go there at level 2 and there'd be like level 15 bandits there. Or go level 15 and there'd be level 30 bandits there. Not always though. And I noticed also that um, my deflect arrows perk just stopped working altogether. So I don't know what's up with that. Looked it up on the UESP website. It says it occasionally glitches out. This is not occasionally. It's like it just stopped working. Period. So that's that's a bummer. Okay, it's showing the map where I am. Lorestone is right nearby. Okay, so there's always a heavy. At this level, it's probably going to be a snow bear. So let's first of all discover the shrine of Mary's Dagon. Okay, so it'll be a jumping off point. There's also some good loot. If you just kind of like skitter over here. and up the mountain. And right behind here, always some good loot, and it respawns too. What do we get this time? Huh. Great. the Lord's Stone. It's kind of hidden behind the trees there. It's right there. I think the best thing to do is to drag the bear into the bandits. See if we can get them fighting. A quick save here. <laughs> there you go, chicken shit quick save. <laughs> okay, there's the Lord's Stone. There's the bear right down there. Alright, let's do it. Hey, bear. Oh wait, it's a snowy saber cat. Even better. Walk this way, snowy saber cat. That's right. Bring it on over here. Hey guys, I brought you a little playmate. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Did they engage? Looks like they engaged. <laughs> Insert no way they didn't. He's still after me. Is he tethered? Is he, can he only go so far? Take some hits here. There we go, he's engaged. Ouch, okay. Alright, Thunder, you know the, the, the routine here. Oh, he's running away. Now he's running away. Okay, good. I prefer if he runs away. Let's get archery gear on. Watch it now. Swing and a miss. There we go. <laughs> Watch out behind you. <laughs> Shit, I should have let the, the saber cat get him. Okay, thunder. Oh shit, I lost him. Where is he? Uh oh wait, I hear him. Okay. Okay, I think all the bandits are dead, so we might as well take this guy out. Great. You got this thunder? I hope you're not gonna die. As I'm power leveling <laughs> alteration here. Let me just 
Gobble down some apple dump things here. Saber cats are really, he's running away because, of, oh shit. Oh, jeez. I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, I got no armor. Okay, so, um... Got to revise my plan here. Um, running him into the bandits, yes. After he kills the bandits, uh, keep your distance while you try to take him down. Okay. Take two. Here we go. Let me just get a death light on the Someone bandits here. Something. Closer. Seems like he's tethered. That's close enough. Huh. Interesting. That's close enough. Okay, so I got a death light on the bandits here. Um, and he seems like he's tethered, but that's not reliable. Oh shit. Maybe I should prioritize the saber cat. Okay, I'm taking some hits here. It's you. It's vegetable soup time. See? Doesn't work. Lucky hit. Okay, um good. Let's just uh let's do a quick save here. Looks like Thunder killed one of the bandits. Yeah, you better help him out. <laughs> keep your distance, Lag. Yeah, keep your distance. And the bandit is now shooting me. You bugger. Shoot the saber cat. Okay, at least they're low-level bandits this time. You're going down. Okay. Okay, good. That's done. Quick save. Shit, he's on me. Wait, hang on. Oh, we got him. Okay, I'm gonna let Thunder finish him off. He's injured. He's badly injured. You got this, Thunder. Good boy. Okay, let's finish him off. There we go. Mission accomplished. Sorry about that, Thunder. But you do have armor and we paid for it. So, gotta put that to good use. Alright, the Lord's Stone is ours. Alright, alright, calm down there, Thunder. Calm down. I know it was pretty heavy. Had to do a lot of heavy lifting there. And, um. 
think that's pretty much it. We're ready for dragons. Okay, so I have, let's just count it up here. If I put on the necklace. Let me sell off first. Yeah. Okay, we're going to town. I'm close to leveling up again. All right, Amulet of Zenithar is on. There's Adrian. Got some good pieces out here. The finest weapons and armor. Too bad. Very good. Carry away to 75, that means I pretty much bottomed out everything. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need. Anything. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a everything's for Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. All right. Keeping all that. Keeping all that. I never use these. Definitely going to use that. That might be useful. Oh, I have a paralysis, paralysis poison. Sweet. It's only for five seconds, but yeah, that... Extended visibility. Invisibility. This is completely useless to us because we can't sneak. So that goes. That would be very useful. And that's going to be very useful. Keep the frost salts. Keep the lavender. We're good to go. Do All right, come back. so come by Bellathor's shop. Quiet, dude. We're doing a walkthrough here. Okay, let's start stacking up the magic resistance necklace of magic resistance. At the market. This is from my alteration skill. So that's twenty. Thirty-five. 45 and Lordstone gives 60. We can sure get up to 70 if we go to Saul's time. That's pretty good. The cap is 85. Captain Gallon does the business around here. I'm just a ship. See if I can remember which one it is. Um yeah, it's in the temple. No, that's the one-handed one. Should be this one over here. I see where it. There it is. Blessing of Azira. So we got 70% magic resistance. We're ready for dragons, people. We are ready. <laughs> Let's go activate them. <laughs> I 
and unleash hell across Tamriel. And I'm a poet and I don't know. Starting off with uh, turning in the dragon thingy, dragon stone. And before I forget, let me hook up my good arrows. Orcish arrows, you're up to bat. Deliver the dragon stone to Ferengar. Can't do. You see, the term ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. <laughs> Okay, about my reward. You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. All right. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Thank you. Just send me a copy Farangar. when you've deciphered it. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. Hear me? Dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? W what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I serve Jarl Bolt as steward. Let's go. Never fear. Pamela is here. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irleth and help her fight this dragon. Because I have experience, right? Helgen. So you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. <laughs> but I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, Gee, accept thanks. this gift from my personal armory. What do we get this time? Iron like Boots of Waning Shock. Okay, there you go, boys and girls. Apparently, running away like a little girl counts as experience with the Jarl of Whiterun. <laughs> um, I just thought of something. Up here at the College of Winterhold, we can go down, down into the Midden, and there's this little basket full of um, moonstone, refined moonstone. I should also have some refined moonstone at home that I got from the Gallows Hall. So let's go do this and then we'll use that plus a refined moonstone at home and I still got some firewood left over and we'll crank out a batch of elven arrows as well. Okay, so I don't want to waste my good orcish arrows on this mundane task here. Okay, so in case you don't know, down here in the midden, that basket right there is full of four moonstone. It's just a matter of being able to knock it off so that all the moonstone falls to the ground. Sometimes some of them stay stuck up there. 
So I recommend doing a quick save before I do this, and let's see if we can get all four of them to come out. That's one. That's two. That's pretty par for the course. Let's try again. I think it really knock it off. Huh, I didn't even budget. Okay, I got a better idea. Because I know how it's getting stuck now. Right here. That should work. There we go, we got three of them. One, two, three. Got all four. Excellent. <laughs> oh yeah, and there's an enchanted dagger here around here somewhere. I'm sure somebody's gonna point out that I missed it. Don't really care. And how many skill training purchase rates do I have? Nope, they're all used up. Perfect. Okay, so, home, James. Stone hooked up? No, the Lord's don't. Well, I'm not going to bother swapping out. Although that would help. Oh, I only got two refined moonstone from. Uh, so that gives me a total of six. Now I'm not going to bother swapping out stones. Um, so let's take out six firewood. Crank out some elven arrows. I don't have the elven perk. Huh, I forgot all about that. Um, hmm. I wonder if it's worth it. Five second decision. Four, three, two, one. Get Elven Smithing so we can craft arrows that do more damage than the Orcish arrows. Ebony arrows are a long way off. We have to get Smithing up to 80. That's a long way off. I think it's worth it. So, um, we're just short of leveling up, getting another perk point. One handed or block. Let's go, uh, smithing. Yeah, we got some ingots. Let's take those out. And some leather strips. Let's crank out a few daggers.
I do it? Excellent. Perfect. Okay. Points in the Magicka. Let's get that Elven Perk. Now we can craft Elven Arrows. Excellent. We are ready. Okay, so I'm going to empty out off camera, empty out the inventory as much as possible because I'm going to be taking on some heavy ass dragon bones and scales and whatnot. So I'm going to call it coming up next Dragon Rising. And we're going to unleash dragons all over Skyrim. Yep. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Major Slack, and I definitely approve this video if you do too. Please give me a thumbs up, post a comment. And don't forget to hit the little bell notification thingy and um, subscribe. Yeah, so that you get all my videos hot off the press. All right, see you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, all right? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.